Hello, welcome to the Mark Janot Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm gonna break down how to fully customize and modernize your Linux desktop environment, right? This is gonna be some very sleek, very nice kind of thing. So without further ado, let's get right to it, going dark. So before we get into that, let's just talk about what Linux Cinnamon is in the first place. So Linux Cinnamon refers to the Cinnamon desktop environment, which is a free and open source user interface for Linux and other Unix-like operating systems. So Cinnamon was originally created by the Linux Mint team in response to the release of the NOM 3, which moved away from the traditional desktop layout familiar to many users. So Cinnamon pre preserves, right? The classic desktop metaphor offering a layout and workflow similar to the, you know, the genome 2 and, you know, the traditional Windows environments with a bottom panel application menu system tray and window management features. Now, to fully customize and modernize your Linux desktop, you know, you can follow this comprehensive approach that covers, I'm going to cover themes, icons, fonts, panels, extensions, and advanced tweaks, right? So, you can first start with the change and installment of themes and icons. You're gonna use system settings, go to system settings, then themes to change window borders, then controls and then icons, the mouse pointers and desktop themes. Then download the new themes and icon packs from sites like Genome, you know, the look.org or the GitHub repositories. You know, you can look at the Orcus theme as an example. Then manually install the themes by placing them. And Peter, you can put those two codes on the screen those folders right there and create these if they don't exist. Then apply the themes and icons via the themes panel to instantly update your desktop look. In regards to fonts, you can customize those by, you know, adjusting the system, you know, going, you know, you can adjust the system fonts for menus, windows, tiles, and inter uh, interface elements by going to the system, then settings, and then fonts. You can download and install fonts from the fonts.google.com or other repositories to modernize, you know, typography, right? You have, you can personalize the panel taskbar as well. You can right click the panel and choose a configure panel to adjust the height, position, and behavior. You can use panel edit mode to move or resize panel elements. You can add or remove applets and launches to the panel for functionality and aesthetics. You can install extensions like transparent panels to give a modern look with translucency effects and then you can add extensions and applets those are one, some of my favorites you can go to system settings then extensions to browse and install useful extensions like the weather system monitors workspace switches etc extensions add new features and improve usability helping to modernize the desktop environment and then you have the hot corners right and the menu you can configure hot corners to trigger actions like showing all windows or launching apps when you move the mouse to screen corners, you know, customize the cinnamon menu by right clicking it and selecting, you know, configure to add slash remove categories, then change the layout and add favorite apps. You can customize lock screen and the alt tab preview, right? You can change the lock screen clock style and background for a modern look. So customize the alt tab window switcher preview style to suit your preference. You can use desklets and conky for desktop widgets. Like you can, you, you know, you can add desktops, you know, the, 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 des, the deslets, desklets, right? Uh, the, that's the desktop widgets, right? You know, weather clocks, system info. You can use conky for advanced system monitoring and aesthetic desktop widgets. And then there's the advanced tweaks with the DEF CON editor. You can install and use the DEF, uh, you know, cough. Uh, editor that's the sudo app install uh, you know deconf editor peter please put that on the screen for them that's for deep customization of the cinnamon settings beyond the gui but be cautious with changes to avoid breaking the desktop environment now you can choose a modern theme right uh some of the popular and highly rated themes include the vimix arc uh, Adapta, Kanta, and Stylish. So these offer a range of aesthetics from flat material design to bold color palettes. To install Vimix, Peter, please put that code on the screen for them. Now for Arc, you're gonna have to use this. Peter, please put that you know code on the screen for them, right? You can select an icon pack. The recommended icon themes is Papyrus, Tela, New Mix, or Flat Remix. These are widely used for a basically a modern and consistent appearance. You can download icon packs from Pling or Cinnamon Spices, then extract them to, you know, the icons, right? 
You can install beautiful fonts like the JetBrains Mono or the Farrah Code, which basically offer a clean, developer-friendly look, right? You can download and install fonts, then set them via the system settings and then the fonts. You can also customize the panel and menu. You can adjust the panel color, whether it's dark or light, the transparency and the position in system settings. That's the panel, right? For a modern menu like the Windows 11 or the Genome 42, you can explore applets and menu customization in the Cinnamon Spices repository. Now, then you can add the widgets and the applets, right? Enhance the functionality with the weather, the system monitor or custom launchers from Cinnamon Spices, right? You can apply a consistent cursor theme. So download the cursor themes from the cinnamonlook.org or place them in the icons. Now, again, you can use the Conky or other desktop widgets. For advanced users, tools like the Conky can display system info stylishly on the desktop. Now, there are some other themes. You have the dark themes. That's the, like, like for example, you have the Nordic dark, which offers a cool muted dark interface. The C black, which focuses um, focuses on a completely dark mode with customizable transparency and dark icons. You have Cinemox Rhino, which is a deep gray color theme or, or basically a scheme with several variants of the, you know, Auber and, you know, Aubergine and the, you know, Cashmere Blue. You have the light and minimal themes like the Canopy Light, basically lightweight based on the Mint Y, which is available in blue, silver, golden, and green, each with optional dark mode. You have the Kiss Cool, which is a modern, elegant, and available in several color variants, whether it's the, you know, blue, pink, that kind of stuff. And there's Mac OS inspired themes like the MC OS, which mimics the look of Mac OS, you know, Mojave, including tweaks to the Nemo file manager. Like you have the MC Mojave, which is another polished Mac OS Mojave inspired theme with light and dark variants. Okay, so that's what I have for you today. Please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and the like button. If you appreciate this content and you want more videos like this, please let me know that by hitting that subscribe button and the like button right now. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe. See you in the next video.